What's up guys, Jake here, or Jake Scott Herps, not to be confused with Herpes, but Herpes is nasty, and in this video I'll be showing you my new addition, which is actually more of my dad's pet, he paid for it, and he really wanted it, I've been kind of getting him back into snakes with all the snakes that I keep, and uh, it's really more of his pet, but he doesn't really like mice, and you know, I take care of a lot of snakes anyway, so mm -hmm. he asked me if I would take care of it, and so I, uh, obviously I would, because I really enjoy any animal really, I mean, if I went to a reptile show, there's really nothing there that I wouldn't want if somebody was giving it away, because uh, I really just love reptiles, but here he is, he is an Amazon tree bow, he's sort of a brownish, orangey sort of color, you can sort of see red on his belly, I don't know if you can see that, but he's pretty cool looking, uh, he's quite mean actually, I mean just look at those eyes man, he just looks, he just looks like he wants to bite you, but He's kind of mean. I didn't get bit when I picked him up. I was actually alright, but um, can't say the same for anybody else who picks him up. And I'll just run through the tank real quick because uh, it's kind of a cluster of you know stuff everywhere. It's not the greatest looking tank, but you know it works. Um, I wasn't really planning on getting the snake, so I, you know, obviously the tank doesn't really isn't really coordinated that well. But uh, the substrate is Eco Earth. It stays pretty moist, keeps the humidity up because they do need some humidity. Um, there's a stick that I got outside, and um, when you're using things that you find outside, you have to, you know, be kind of cautious with what you use. I did a lot of stuff to make sure this didn't have any anything bad in it. I cut all the bark off with a knife, and then I rinsed it in hot soapy water, and then I baked it. So I'm pretty confident there's no parasites or anything in there. A uh, zip tied to it is a, a probe, thermometer probe, which uh, measures the hot spot pretty well. Um, there's a repti vine kind of hanging there, just I don't really know what purpose it has other than just for show, I haven't really seen him use it. There's a couple fake plants, um, a little bit on the ground, uh, a little hide, I, he's probably not going to use it because he is an arboreal snake, but I put it in there just because I had it. Uh, nice size water dish, and this weird looking bamboo plant in the middle, it's more of an aquarium thing, but I had it, so I figured I'd throw it in there for more vertical climbing space. And the tank's a 10 gallon, um, I know it's not uh, taller than it is wide, but um, for now I think it works because obviously you can see he's quite little but when he is bigger he'll probably have one of the one of the taller tanks and the top here we have a, a 60 watt heat bulb and at night he has a 50 watts uh, night bulb and normally there's a towel right here I took it off for this video and uh, it keeps pretty humid uh, because of this humidifier that my dad sort of designed it, it's uh, basically just a simple little Walgreens humidifier with a pretty big water bottle on the top and it has like rubber tubing that goes off into both the tanks as you can see. Uh, the other tank is my rainbow boa tank because obviously it needs to stay pretty humid regardless of shedding but my boa is still in shed. I haven't found the shed and she's still got, got in the blue so um, that kind of sucks. I'll turn this on for you guys because it's actually pretty sweet if I can do this with one hand. It's hooked up to a timer and it runs uh, I believe it runs, let's see, did I bump something? It runs every 15 minutes, or excuse me, every two hours for 15 minutes, so. There we go. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but as you can see, it works really well, and it looks pretty cool when it's, when it's all, when the whole tank's basically filled uh, with uh, water vapor. And I'll show you this little guy a little bit closer because hopefully I don't get bit though. Because he's not the most friendly. When you open up the tank, as you can see, he gets a little fired up. So you can see him. I mean, just look at those little eyes. He's, he just looks like he's going to bite me. But, um, yeah, regardless, he's a really cool snake. And I'm pretty glad we have him. And, yeah, so... If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of videos coming up this week. I'm going to have my uh, part two of my reptile collection where I have all the things that I keep my mom's. Um, I'm going to be going to the North American Reptile Breeders Conference in Tinley Park this weekend, which will be pretty cool. And uh, I'll probably do another question and answer video because I have a lot of questions that I get repeatedly asked a lot. So I figured I'd just go ahead and mention them in, uh, in one video. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a rating. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, the humidity works pretty well. And I will see you guys later. Peace.